Hello everybody, Simon here. So here it is, this is the one that you've been waiting for. Firstly, apologies for putting that teaser trailer up. I put it up for 24 hours just to see the reaction and what happens when you do something like that. And then I took it down. I won't be doing that again, I promise. <laughs> right, without further ado, in this video, I will be telling you how why I bar find 23 Thai bar girls in one hour and 15 minutes. Mm. Quite a lot of you commented and guessed and one of you got it exactly right and I hid your comments <laughs> so I've got apologies but <laughs> quite a few of you got near but quite a few of you were way off. Uh, I'm not a sex maniac and I took 23 girls out and uh, had a big party and it was nothing to do with Songkran and it was nothing to do with uh, anything kinky afraid not it's actually a bit of an anti-climax but here we go so the last two videos I did I'm sorry again they were long 25 minutes and 10 minutes gave you the backstory to uh, my bar one and uh, if you haven't seen those two I'll link below or a link at the end whatever so following on from those soy seven uh, my the the bosses the lady and gentlemen who I work for there was marital problems there but we're now 15 16 years on I can report that they're still married and they still have marital problems but he's gone back to running the soapy massage and she does the other stuff so that's all good Afterwards, him and me, we became reasonable friends and no, no problems ever after that. So the lady, she um, had a lot of businesses and contacts. She got this building at the bottom of Soy 7. Now we called it Soy 7 Fun Bar. Not a very good name, I know. There you go. It was going to be a sports bar type. And for those of you who know Patea and know Soy 7, it was right at the bottom after all the open bars there's a section of about 10 buildings before you hit the beach road and it was about the fifth one up there was a little go-go bar and it was two up from that I think um, so it was some sort of uh, house or something before and my boss she was a friend of the lady who owned it and they did a deal instead of key money where she paid X amount of pounds for the lease of the building she did it all up in exchange for instead of key money and she got a three-year lease after which she would uh, decide what to do thereafter so she got the building and she'd already got me this new condo for a month and frozen the mama san I sent her off trying to find girls ready for the new bar so she had a month searching around talking builders came in did the place up so downstairs um, some of you might remember it from the front it was a chrome bars on the right on the front with a table uh, benches right behind it like a tabletop where the girls used to sit behind and look over the road and it's quite narrow so we seven at the bottom um, and it was all tiled as you came in the bar was on your right hand side along the left uh, on that right wall there was some steps up at the back of the first room going into a room behind where we had a pool table and then down some steps at the back to toilets. We had a little computer at the archway there. And uh, instead of a DJ booth, a reasonable sound system. But as you came in, immediately on your right was a huge big screen we put in for the uh, sports, etc. So if you, you could fit 100 people in, shoulder to shoulder, squeezed in the, over the two rooms. So it wasn't huge, but it was enclosed. We had shutters down at the front. And I did mention in another vlog about the gaps in the shutter and how I caught the security guard with a pipe through the those holes siphoning off my draft beer <laughs> I'll never forget that one so anyway all the builders came in done it all all fixed sorted above the bar was a big room at the front 25 square meters that became my home for the next year and nine months lovely room double bed ensuite um, seti, coffee, all that, loads of windows and I had a double doors opening up on top of the bar with like a nice veranda 
huge area for me to sit out in. Windows at the side, the bar next door was only one floor. So it looked straight across to some other double windows, which was the go-go bar. That was the changing room for all the girls. So they were always there naked, waving at me, and I got quite pally with them. <laughs> so it was a hard life living in that room. And, and from that room above, there was three more rooms and one at the back. We had girls living in the top rooms. And up on the roof, it was a flat roof and all the washing was hung out there. Parties and things from the girls up there. So it was quite a good size bar uh, with all the rooms and things. So, 23 bar girls. What happened? Why? Well, in that month, Frozen tried getting girls for the bar. And she managed to get about 10 in total. We couldn't do a soft opening, not in Soy 7. You, you've just got to go for it. You've got to have a big party. So we, opening day came, all the balloons outside, frozen, Mama San, 10 girls in nice dresses for the day. But you have to have a big party. Now the my boss, the woman, basically said to me, this bar's for you. Sorry for what's happened before. You're right now on 22,000 salary free drink money towards stuff frozen's on i think 14. um and we had her cashier again we had toy the barmaid the uh tomboy and the other tomboy barmaid animal left animal the crazy blue spiky hair dj she went off to a go-go bar so no dj me pc set it all up just running all the time with music that was the DJ and the girls and that was about it we didn't have any cleaner we didn't we had the security guard the uh, young lad and he sort of lived on the on the stairwell there was a double setty thing he lived on that for over a year so there we are day one we're going to open we've got 10 girls Mama Sam me and the bar staff now have you sussed it <laughs> it's not the done thing however you can do it um, when needed and I did have quite a few friends who had bars close by especially in Soy 8 and Centre Point at the bottom of Soy 8 which is like an inside bar area got it? yeah so our opening day was going to be from uh, actually I wrote some notes and things down because it was remembering. Yeah, from 11 a.m. in the morning we were opening till 2 a.m. the next morning. So, the night before, I went to three bars in Soy 8 and Centre Point with the owners and manager's permissions and I bar find, I think, eight girls from two of the bars and seven girls from the other bar and paid for the bar finds, got those 23 girls did a deal with them to come and work in our bar for the opening day party bit of an anti-climax isn't it I'm sorry yep yeah. so bar find them all of them and it took me an hour and 15 minutes to go around the three bars and sort it all out so there you go that's all it was but you have to do this sometimes. If you can't get the girls to work for you, you need girls, especially over two shifts, because that's a long day for the opening. We put so many girls in the daytime, so many in the evening. We didn't allow bar finds until nine, I think it was nine in the evening. So they were there all day. And they were getting a cut of the lady drinks. Any money they made with customers was theirs. And we were giving them half the bar find money. That way we were getting covered for having to pay their bar fines. Yeah. So in total, we had 10 of our own girls, uh, 23 girls I bar fined, and then the boss brought 10, was it 10 soapy massage girls? Yeah, 10 soapy massage girls. Again, those lot, the crazy ones. But they just had to, for service, just getting the drinks out and standing around making the place look busy so we had 43 girls on the opening day of the bar in the street almost getting run over because it's so tight and in the bar for the grand opening and that was it 
and actually 43 girls looked at my figures we we took 43,000 baht that day we had to put a load of food on um, on the pool table in the second room we put a big board over the top food we had a kitchen at the back luckily and a couple of freezers food all day and all evening uh, which was free for customers but yeah we took 43,000 baht for the whole day which was huge money for a bar um, of that size and it was a successful day but it was totally different to the other bar we didn't have the freelancers we didn't have the uh, rooms for short time rooms we had to have the rooms for staff and me and things so we just didn't have the space that's a huge difference the only good thing was is enclosed and you had the rooms for the staff compared to the open bars up the road but the costs are higher I'm gonna do a video after this one uh, or in sometime in the next few days of cost the cost of running that bar in soy seven what it costs monthly for the girls salaries the take-ins a complete rundown just in case any of you are looking at what it costs to run a bar in Thailand and I'll explain the difference in the two types of bars you can get or two or three types but it'll give you a rough idea on pricing uh, it might help somebody and it won't be too much it's just a case of getting my old books out and having a look so I will do that so there you go 23 girls bar find I was cheating I was just getting them to come and help in the bar work for us for a day the other three bars all three managers owners came to the party they only had a couple of girls left and later on months later they had my girls they bar find all our girls for one of their big parties so we looked after each other the different managers and that's it I'm sorry <laughs> that's such an anticlimax but it was a great opening and that's the backstory now for my two bars and how I got the manager's job and what it was all about um, if you want more videos on the day-to-day -day runnings of the bar then maybe you know give me a shout comment below and I'll I'll have a look at it for you but I will do the cost one because that should help a few of you and uh, now I'm back from holiday I've got about 40 videos on all sorts of subjects to do so loads and loads but I'm gonna start dropping them down I think to three a week and try and make a better production of the videos this has been recommended by quite a few of you and other channels we're now gone over the 2000 subscribers mark so thanks welcome all the new ones never in my from day one I never dreamed we'd be ever going to that sort of number um, I will do an update as well so the channel's about 10 11 weeks old so soon I'll do an update of um, the money we're making on YouTube uh, I'll do that as well an update video because that might interest some of you all right so there we go <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoyed those three insights to the bar and the the backstory it now gives you moving forward uh, you can understand a bit better now about what I was doing there and what it was like and uh, hopefully fill some gaps in for people thanks so much for watching and all your support fantastic and I will see you all on the next video bye for now